Hey, what's happening there, YouTube? Willow here, bringing you a new episode of content for The Legend of Dragoon. Um, okay, so this is going to be um, a long video. This is going to be a quick one. Now, this video, I mentioned before in my previous ones that um, about gold farming. What I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to show you exactly... Uh, where I've been I've been farming um, from what I read there are a few places here is this spot here is probably one of the easier places to go obviously where you see it here south of Cerdo you have the black castle to the bottom of us you have the dragon's nest Shirley shrine and volcano Villud up there and the town of Lohan to the left and obviously, if you go all the way to the right, you'll see Helena Prison. Now, from where, where I found out before, they say usually between this dot and this one up here. If you stay between these two, you'll come across a monster called Zero Zero Parts. Now, what I've been doing, I've been staying around this little section here. And... Now, it's not 100% that it'll spawn. Actually, here we go. It spawned right here. Now, with this one here, you can do this before you get Meru. Um, but I would recommend, if you, if you just want to farm as soon as you can, wait until you get Heschel in the party. I'll show you that in a minute, but let me show you how the fight will take place. Now, since I'm using Shana and Meru, they're my, they're my fastest people. So we're gonna go ahead and get this started. Obviously with this thing, you're just gonna do one damage to it. Okay, we're not doing this. We're gonna rewind it. Now you're gonna find yourself doing this quite a bit. Because sometimes this thing does have a habit of instant killing you relatively quick. Okay, now we're gonna use Meru. Okay, now if you notice there, guys, he didn't do the instant kill like he did before. So, okay, sometimes we're going to miss. Sometimes. Now we're going to attack with Shanna. Okay, alright, so we did two damage to him so far. Now, see how we're, we have, it's Miru's turn again. Now, this is crucial. You have to have the magic six stone. You find this in the marshlands on the way to the Volcano Villud. There's a boat. You have to explore the, all the way to the bottom. And you'll find the Magic Six Stone. This is, this is a repeat item. So when you use this in battle, the next time you use it, when you, when you encounter a new enemy, you'll get it again. So with that, we're just going to use it on him. Because this blocks their turns. This blocks them for three turns. As you'll see right here, see he can't move, so that's one. It's two. Now I'm going to attack with dart, probably gonna miss. Oh no, that's good. We didn't miss. Now we're gonna finish it off with Shana. And we just killed it. And here we will reap the rewards of a spirit potion and 600 gold which as you can see on my screen i've been farming for about maybe a half hour i've gone from 7,000 to almost 14,000 gold within that time frame <coughs> oh, excuse me okay now the last thing i want to show you before i end this is why i used those characters so as you can see if you look at speed Darts on average, he's at 50. Shanna, her speed is at 65. Now, also, this is something else that you can use to help you out. It's not mandatory, um, but it does make the farming a lot easier. When you're in the commercial town of Lohan, buy a few War Gods amulets. 
that will increase the, the hit rate for your characters. So speed and hit rate is a factor here because that enemy, the zero zero parts, is very fast. As you can see, why I was using Heschel, his speed is at 60. So I took the Warguard amulet off of him and I put it to Meru. Meru's speed is at 70. So using Meru or Shana, or if you're further ahead in the game, um, you can use Meru and Miranda at that point. And this is basically wash, rinse, repeat. So once you do this, it's just a matter of just keep going from this little section. Me, I, I've just been doing it right here in like in the shadow of the mountain. I've been pretty lucky with it so far. And it also you can tell too from when you hear that music, that's how you know you encountered it, so you know you're good. So I'm going to do this one more time. And also do doing this, just like grinding. Okay, we're not doing this again. So, okay, no. No, you, you may find yourself doing this several times. Sometimes he does one hit you. But it's a matter of just trying to predict what the movements would be. So if you're playing on PS4 and PS5, you will be utilizing that rewind option. There's nothing wrong with it. Honestly, it just makes the farming that much easier, so if you make a mistake, rewind and just try a different tactic. And we're gonna do this here. Okay, so once again, we've found twice. And like I said, since the speed for Meru and Shana definitely comes in handy, and their hit rates are up. So, and since we did two damage to him already, throw the Sig Stone. He will not move for three turns. We got one. There we go. Hit him with chin. So we have three damage. That's two. And I finish him off. And this is a good way to level up your additions too, or if you have anyone with a low dragon spirit, preferably Shanna, Miru, or Heschel. This is a good spot to do this too, because by doing this, I've been able to race Shanna to level 4, just by doing this alone. And my items are full, so I'm not worried about that. But anyway, um, I hope this video helps you guys out. If you have any questions about this gold farming that I just showed you, um, please uh, don't hesitate to leave any kind of comments in the, in the comment section for the video. I uh, will get back to you guys as soon as I can if you leave any comments on there. And as always, if you like the video, just hit the like button. And if you want to stay up to date with all the Legend and Dragon videos uh, I'm making for the channel, um, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Any support will definitely help out this channel. Alright guys, so that'll do it for me. So you guys stay safe and stay classy.